Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your sports report right here on the Riley King Network, the Red Sox. Game 3 of the World Series is on tonight at 8.09 p.m. on Fox. Let's begin with your Red Sox news. J.D. and Benatendi out for the Red Sox in Game 3. Let's watch the video. Your thoughts on, on the reasoning behind uh, Ben Attendee sitting tonight? Hey, Alex, uh, just a uh, thought on what JD did to test that ankle out there, and uh, your thoughts on, on the reasoning behind uh, Ben Attendee sitting tonight? With Jackie playing? Um, um, JD's he's okay. I mean, it's October 26th, I think it is, whatever. Um, you know, he went through the repetitions, and he told me he's ready to play. So, um, we're playing him in left. As far as matchups, um, for what we have information-wise, it's not a big difference. Um, maybe Benny has a, has the edge, but you know, Jackie's defense with JD in left field, it makes sense for us. Also, we keep Benny on the bench. We, we had our, our, our lefties playing. We got Mitch and Brock and, and Rafi. So we kept that bat on the bench, and I think He'll show up in the middle of the game. It's a good matchup for us against a righty or, or a lefty. And uh, we feel comfortable with his bat. He can pinch run. He can come in and play defense. So there's a lot of stuff that went, went on, but uh, it's simple. You know, keep the big boy in left field and have Jackie probably play left center and center field. Help him out. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And let's take a look at Boston's lineup for Game 3. That is the lineup for Boston in Game 3 of the World Series, beginning at 8.09 p.m. on Fox. Okay. 
LA takes center stage for the World Series. Let's take a listen to the video from WCVB Boston. Can you guess the only real estate brand with agents who are smart home specialists? Now you can. Coldwell Banker, the real estate company with real advantages. It is one of the most breathtaking views in professional sports, the ninth floor entrance of Dodger Stadium, especially when the weather is perfect, which it always is. We haven't had a rain out since 2000. Now, it's no 106-year-old Fenway, but after Fenway and Wrigley, 56-year-old Dodger Stadium is the third oldest ballpark in the big leagues, and it's the biggest, too, 56,000 capacity. Forget Fenway Franks, here it's the Dodger dog, and you'll find a lot named after the legendary Dodgers broadcaster Vin Scully, but not much named after individual Dodgers players. We don't have the pesky pole or McCovey Cove or any of those other type things you might see in the ballpark. We did find a few exceptions. We had a Red Sox outfielder. You may have heard of a Manny Ramirez, and they called it Manny Wood in left field. Out here in the bleachers, and these are real wooden bleachers, they're all painted yellow, all except for one. This one right here, it's blue, just painted this way for this season, in fact. This marks the spot, game one of the 1988 World Series, where Kirk Gibson's game-winning home run landed. Gibson's pinch-hitting walk-off, he had two injured legs at the time, gave the Dodgers momentum to win that series. Team historians say Red Sox fans shouldn't count them out this year either. Half of our championships, it's the exact same scenario. 1955 in Brooklyn, 1965, and 1981. Lost the first two games on the road, then won the next three home games. Well, the difference when the Dodgers won those previous three championships, they weren't playing against this Red Sox lineup, which has played like the best team in baseball all season long. At Dodger Stadium, I'm Ben Simino, WCVB News Center 5. <laughs> Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Very cool indeed. Dodger Stadium. Jerry Remy rooting for the Red Sox during recovery. Let's take a listen to the video from WCVB Boston. Can you guess the only real estate brand with agents who are smart home specialists? Now you can. Coldwell Banker, the real estate company with real advantages. Jerry looks great, he sounds great, and he really loves this baseball team. I mean, come on, who knows the Red Sox better than Jerry Remy? And I have to tell you, you know what? He's seen some good teams, some really good teams, and some not-so-good teams, both as a broadcaster and as a player. We talked about the Sox, we talked about his health, and Remy, who took time off this summer after his latest diagnosis with cancer, as I said, looks and sounds great. No, I'm doing good. I, you know, I'm doing good. I, I finished radiation about a month ago, a month and a half ago, and I'm out walking here every morning and and doing, uh, you know, doing different things to get my resistance back and my wind back. So, you know, I right now, knock on wood, everything's fine. I think it's got a chance to be the best team in Red Sox history. You know, yes. if they, they get two more games to win, and I think we can all say that. But uh, I love the team. I've loved it since spring training. Fun catching up with Rundog this afternoon, and he sees the Red Sox wrapping it up out in L.A. That is the story live from Fenway Park. Duke is taking on WCBB News Center 5. <laughs> Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And we're happy that Jerry Remy is doing pretty good. He is a good Red Sox broadcaster. And major shakeup in the Red Sox lineup for Game 3 of the World Series. We know the Red Sox would lose a key piece of their lineup when 
they played at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. However, many didn't expect it would be this piece. Sox manager Alex Cora released his starting lineup for Game 3 of the World Series on Friday night, and it was left fielder Andrew Benatendi who was missing from it. Cora has decided to start Red Sox sledger J.D. Martinez in his place, leaving Ben Dettini, who has been clutching at the plate and making aerobic catches in the field, waiting for his opportunity to get into the game. Unlike the American Legion, the National League does not use designated his hitters, meaning all players on the field must bat, including the pitcher. Some thought the Sox could have moved Mookie Betts to second base, allowing the team to keep their full compliant of hitters and potential future gold glovers on the field. Here's the complete lineup for both teams. Here is the Red Sox lineup first. We will show you right here. And now we'll show you the Dodgers lineup. And here's the Dodgers lineup. Every decision Cora has made so far this season has turned into gold. Time will tell if this one does too. And that did it for my sports report, the Red Sox, right here on the Riley King Network. Again, game time is at 8.09 p.m. And go Red Sox. We hope you guys do great tonight for the game. And I'll be back with... Game 4, Sports Report, tomorrow night. Have a great night, everyone. Goodbye.